This is the video tutorial for the module 3 of the Mobile Programming 1 course, Setting up the Android Environment. So the first thing that we're going to do is to launch the Eclipse ADT. Once it is launched, it's going to ask for a workspace. So you have the option of providing your own uh, workspace or just click OK for the default uh, URL. The next thing that we're going to do once this uh, Eclipse ADT has loaded is to configure the Eclipse for the location of the plugin. To do that, you need to click on Window and then click on Preferences, then click on Android. And then if this is the first time that you're running the Eclipse ADT, the SDK location is unknown. So just click on Browse and then look for it. And then once you've uh, seen where the ADT bundle is or the plugin is, just click on Apply and then click on OK. The next thing that we're going to do is to install the Android packages. So again, click on Window and then look for the Android SDK Manager. So once this is open, uh, technically what would happen here is if you have internet connection and you haven't installed any of the uh, packages yet, it's gonna, this is going to be uh, downloaded from the Android that devel developer that tools uh, website. So once it is done loading the packages, just click on close and then click on the install packages for it to uh, download. So on my end, if you're looking at it, everything is already installed. So I haven't done, uh, I'm not going to touch this uh, right now. Okay, and next that we're going to do is uh, we're going to be setting up the Android emulator. So to do that, click on Window and then click on the Android Virtual Device Manager. Okay, so once it is open, click on New. So the thing that you need to understand and remember here is the AVD name is user defined, although the name has to have no spaces. So I'm just going to put in a sample one uh, name here and also the device of what you're going to do or what screen that you're going to use and also the target. So just for uh, formality, we're just going to use the uh, API level 14 or the Android 4. Okay, and then click on OK. And then next, you, you're seeing the Android um, sample one here. So uh, once this is done, click Start. And then click Launch so that we can see the Android virtual device that you've done or the emulator that you've seen. Okay, so right now we're just going to wait for it to load. Your emulator is supposed to look like this. So once you've loaded it, this is what's going to happen. And then just click. Uh, what's This is how it's supposed to look like. So if you've seen this kind of output on your end, you have successfully uh, launched uh, or have created the, the Android environment, you've already done it. Okay, so I'll be seeing you again for the next module. Thank you.